Hi, this is Bruce with Huntsaker Home Hacks. Please subscribe to the channel and ring the bell for future notifications. As you all know, I like home automation and I like robotics. I like robotics that help me do my home automation. Anything that can take and save me time is something I'm looking for. So, I'm always on the lookout for something that's going to help save me time. The first thing I bought that helped me save a lot of time is the Hogart vacuum cleaner. I got the Hogart vacuum cleaner for $60.95 on Amazon. And it was a great deal. It works every day. It works very hard. But I have a two level house with mul a multiple uh, floor plan. So that means there's still the whole upper level that isn't being maintenanced by my vacuum cleaner. So now upstairs I have a loft and my master bedroom. My master bedroom doesn't get as much traffic as the rest of the house. My master bedroom is pretty much traffic free except for me and my wife and the two dogs that like to walk up in there. And of course, when the two dogs go into the room, they leave me an extra surprise. No, it's not that. It's dog fur. So I was looking for another vacuum cleaner for my home. And what did I find? Well, again, if you all know, I'm about, all about saving money and trying to find something that works well. So, in that turn, I was looking online and I've been scoring through a lot of different uh, websites. Amazon, eBay, Gearbest, those are all the ones I kind of look at. Trying to find the best deal I can possibly find. And what I, did I find this time? I found the Konka Robot Vacuum. All right, this one has a self-charging unit. It connects up to, has its own built-in scheduler. Unlike the Hogart Tech, where the scheduler is based on the uh, base, this one has the scheduler built into the robot. This is what we're gonna put in my master bedroom. As I said, it doesn't get as much traffic, so I think this guy might just be the guy for the job. And what I paid for it was pretty good. So. Don't touch that dial, stay right here, and we'll see how the Konka Robot Vacuum Cleaner Welcome, works. Welcome, boys and girls. It's time for another edition of What's in the Box? What's in the box? What's in the box? What's in the box? Cue the music, Phil. Da -da -da. There is no Phil. It's just me. So in the box we have... Styrofoam, robotic vacuum cleaner, and there's a pad to lift this up. Charging dock. Look at that puppy. It's sleek, it's sound, it's kind of cute. I like it. Bar block. And the piece of the resistance. This is the Konka robot vacuum. So let's do a physical inspection starting here. Inside here we have the dust bin, the screen, and a built in filter. So the filter comes out like this, and then you pop it out through this. Fits into the bracket good. So there's our dustbin. All right. Let's flip it over. So on the bottom, it's self-charging. All right, it has one, two, three, four, five cliff detention sensors. It does not have a brush assembly, but it does have some pretty good looking wheels there. Spring-loaded wheels, a nice front wheel. I've noticed with a lot of vacuum cleaners on the lower end of the spectrum, such as this one, they normally cheap out on that wheel. That wheel is normally this little thin one, which makes it impossible to ride over different terrains 
because it's so thin. But this one, it's a nice wheel. It has two edge cleaning brushes and brushes that are going to throw things into this area. So when you set the thing down, it looks like it hugs the ground pretty good. And we have an on and off switch. Let's turn it on. And we have a bumper. We have a clock plate. We have a, looks like a sensor here. An IR sensor. And then you have week, hour, minute, and cancel. Then you have recharge. I can't read that. Time and order. Ordered. Automatic confirm. So it does normal pile carpet, tile, and flat flooring such as wood flooring or linoleum. So let's hook this puppy up and see what it does. So now you've seen the Konka in action. That's right, the Konka robot vacuum cleaner in action. The Konka, as you can tell, it's a pretty hefty robot. And I'll be honest with you, this thing hugs the floor really well, which I think makes it work even better for the fact that it does not have any brushes on it. So since it doesn't have brushes except for these little guys that go around, spin around and sweep stuff in, um, it works very well. Again, I am highly a fan of this wheel here. This wheel makes the Konica move very well. These do the driving, but this guy right here makes sure he goes in the right direction. And if it was too thin, it wouldn't be able to do carpet. So there's two things I wanted to point out. One, this does not come with a virtual wall. And without a virtual wall, that means it will go wherever it wants to go. So, in my case, I didn't want it to go into our master bathroom. So, in order to keep it from going into the master bathroom, I set two of my wife's weights down in the pathway. That way, it gets up to it, the IR sensors or the bumper catches it, and it backs away and goes away. So, if you're looking for one with a virtual wall, this one didn't come with a virtual wall. But, for the price, I couldn't beat it. Second, it does come with a remote, and it's a nice remote. It works. You can set the sucker into spot cleaning, and you can back it away from things, or actually tool it around if you like remote control cars. 
you can remote control your vacuum cleaner. The other thing about it is having the scheduler built in to the Konka. It's kind of cool. It works well. You have to set up each day at the time that you want it to go off. That's right. You got to set each individual day up. So it gives you seven days and it will go. I happen to have it running all seven days in my master bedroom and it picks up a great deal of dog fur which is what I want it to do because it does hug the ground very well and it has a great deal amount of suction I empty the trap every single day after I get home from work or before I go to work depending on what time and this trap catches a lot of debris and my wife is happy and when the wife is happy the life is happy so if you're looking for one of these vacuums I put the description down below I like it and it's good it works for the job I have it doing again I've always said this and I'm gonna say it again you have to know your tools in order to do the job so after I set this up properly the Konica has made it back to its charger every single time every day it runs and it runs well and every day I empty the bin because it gets full of dog fur so Thank you for watching the video. Please like, subscribe, ring the bell for future notifications, and I will see you soon. Go to sleep, more. Go to sleep. Go to sleep.